Hello, welcome to Evening Prayer for Wednesday the 15th of December. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, Creator of light and darkness. To you be glory and praise forever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path, that we may behold your coming among us, strengthen us in our stumbling weakness, and set our, our tongues to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Psalm 25 To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you put, be put to shame. But let the treacherous be shamed and frustrated. Make me to know your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you have I hoped all the day long. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions, but think on me in your goodness, O Lord, according to your steadfast love. Gracious and upright is the Lord. Therefore shall he teach sinners in the way. He will guide the humble in doing right and teach his way to the lonely. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, be merciful to my sin, for it is great. Who are those who fear the Lord? Them will he teach in the way that they should choose. Their souls shall dwell at ease, and their offspring shall inherit the land. The hidden purpose of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever looking to the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am alone and brought very low. The sorrows of my heart have increased. O oh, bring me out of my distress. Look upon my adversity and misery and forgive me all my sin. Look upon my enemies, for they are many, and they bear a violent hatred against me. O keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I put my trust in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for my hope has been in you. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. If you go to the Old Testament reading, it's Isaiah 51, verses 1 to 8. We're going to begin Paul's second letter to the Thessalonians. 2 Thessalonians, chapter 1. Paul, Silvanus and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We must always give thanks to God for you, brothers and sisters, as is right, because your faith is growing abundantly and the love of every one of you for one another is increasing. Therefore we ourselves boast of you among the churches of God for your steadfastness and faith during all your persecutions and the afflictions that you are enduring. This is evidence of the righteous judgment of God and is intended to make you worthy of the kingdom of God for which you are also suffering. For it is indeed just of God to repay with affliction those who afflict you and to give relief to the afflicted as well as to us when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire, inflicting vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. These will suffer the punishment of eternal destruction, separated from the presence of God and from the glory of his might, when he comes to be glorified by his saints and to be marvelled at on that day among all who have believed, because our testimony to you was believed. 
To this end, we always pray for you, asking that our God will make you worthy of his call and will fulfil by his power every good resolve and work of faith, so that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you and you in him, according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I bind unto myself the name the strong name of the Trinity, by invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three, of whom all nature has creation, eternal Father, Spirit, Word, praise to the God of my salvation. Salvation is of Christ the Lord. Lord Jesus, you are the one who is to come, the one whom we await with longing hearts. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. In this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with the good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus, you are the one who is to come, the one whom we await with longing hearts. And so this evening, we hold before God those who lead the nations, who have immense responsibility before God and human beings. Whatever they have been, Lord, guide them to a better place. Inform their decision and help them to bow the knee to you. We hold before God those for whom life is very difficult, those who have difficult decisions to make, who honestly do not know the right thing to do. We hold before God those who have difficult people to work with, those who suffer unfair treatment, unjust criticism, unappreciated work. We hold before God those people who would like a job and don't have one. We hold before God those people who are worried about the possibility of their business failing. We hope for God, those who are struggling to keep going in a job they love. We hope for God, those who have difficult tasks to do and to face and fear that they may fail in them. Those who have difficult temptations to face and who know only too well that they may fall to them if they try to meet them alone. We hold before God his own scripture, 1 Corinthians 10, 13, that when we're tempted he will find a way out for us so that we can stand up against it. Speak into the hearts and lives of those who feel they will fall to temptation. And find them a way out. We hold before God those who know they can be their own worst enemies and those who are their own worst enemies but refuse to admit it or do not know it. Break through into their lives we pray and deliver them from feeling trapped in the way that they are. We hold before God those who are sad because someone they loved has died. And any who are disappointed for something for which they hoped very much. We recognise that many of us may feel that way because of what's been happening since the beginning of the COVID affair which has been going on now for such a long time and shows no great prospects of coming to an end. And even now we've got people who are cancelling things or 
are not sure whether they'll be able to have that celebration or that holiday that they thought they were going to have. We pray that the Lord will be their consolation and that they will look to the Lord for support. O Lord Jesus Christ, who at your first coming sent your messenger to prepare your way before you, grant that the ministers and stewards of your mysteries may likewise so prepare and make ready your way by turning the hearts of the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, that at your second coming to judge the world we may be found an acceptable people in your sight. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So as we come to the end of this day, may the weights you bear be lifted by God's grace. May you know the strength of the Spirit replacing your weariness with energy. May you find rest, joy and hope in Christ. And may the knowledge of the coming of Christ at Christmas bring you a sense of life and light. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>